Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been creating this currency converter using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see we have this input field and we can enter the amount over here. So here we have these two currencies and we can go ahead and select a currency from here. So for example, if I select Japanese Yen and if I change this to for example, USD. Now we can see that the conversion is being displayed over here and we also have this button called swap. So if I click on this button, the currency is swap and we have the USD converted to the Japanese yen. So this is how this currency converter works. So we have been creating this in the previous videos. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. And I will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, if you go over here to theme, I'm using this theme called Contempo Lite, which comes by default with blogger. Now let's go ahead and add this currency converter to our website. So we can add it inside a post or a page. I'll just add it inside a post. So let's go to posts and let's click on new post. And here for the title, let's type currency converter. And now here we need to add the code. So first of all, you have to make sure that you are in the HTML view. So click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just add it inside a style tag. And uh, let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the style.css file and let's copy all the CSS from here. And uh, let's paste it over here. Right now let's go ahead and add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file. And let's go ahead and copy this HTML from here. So let's copy from this line of code till here. And let's paste it over here. And the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag. And uh, let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the main.js file and let's copy this JavaScript code from here. And uh, let's paste it right here. Now if you go back to the source code, here we can see that we have this heading. So you can change this heading to whatever you want. And then we have this input field and by default the value is set to 1. So you can change this value to anything you want. And then here in the style.css file, you can make changes to the looks of your design. Right now let's go back to our blogger website and uh, let's click on publish and confirm. Right now let's see whether it is uh, working all right. So let's click on view. And here we have our currency converter, but uh, this conversion is uh, not working all right. So let's right click and go to the inspector and uh, let's go to the console. And uh, here we have this error. Now here we have this error that this is not HTTPS. So let's go back to our code and uh, let's take a look at the link. And let's search for HTTP and uh, here we can see that we are making a fetch call to HTTP. So let's change this to HTTPS and let's click on update. Now let's go back to our post and let's reload this page. And now we can see that the currency is working all right. So if I click on the swap button, we can see that everything is working all right. Let's go ahead and change this currency. And uh, it is also working all right. Right now let's go ahead and uh, change the color of the text. So right now the color of the text is set to this gray color. We need to change it to the black color. And the next thing we need to do is we need to fix this error where we cannot find the flag placeholder image. So if you go to our project, here we have this image inside the images folder. But in our blogger website, we don't have the images folder. So we need to upload the image somewhere and get the link and paste it over here. So let's do all of that. Let's go back to our post and let's go to the CSS. And here let's tap color and let's set the color of the text to black. And if you go back here, if you refresh this page, we can see that the color of the text has changed and uh, now we need to fix this uh, image. So let's go back to our post and let's scroll down. Let's upload the image over here and let's get the link and paste it over here. So let's click on insert image, upload from computer and uh, let's click on choose files. All right, so here we have this image flag placeholder.png. So let's click on open and let's click on the image and let's click on select and original size and okay. And here we can see that the image has been inserted. 
So let's get the link of the image. So let's copy the link from this href. And now we can paste it in place of the flag placeholder image. So let's scroll down and let's go to the function called create flag image. And here we are adding the flag placeholder. So I'll just paste the link over here. And now we can go ahead and delete this image from here. Right now let's go ahead and update. And let's go back to our post and let's reload this page. And now we can see we don't have any errors and everything is working all right. So that's basically how you can add this currency converter to your blogger website. Now I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.